y'all and welcome to Who is Derek Andre TV. I am Derek Andre. And so today I'm going to start a series and do something a little different on my channel than what I normally do. Um, most of the time I'm comedy and the comedy will be back. I'm not changing the format of the channel to just do stuff like I'm about to start today. But I do think that what I'm about to share with you is relatively, excuse me, relatively important. Um, and uh, that's why I want to do a series about it. So a while back, um, maybe about a month or so ago, I decided to write a PDF on blended families and things that you should know before you become a member of a blended family. And needless to say, I'm speaking from the adult terms. If you're a kid, you know much, much of, a, of a choice. Um, but I decided to write this PDF. It's called Steps in the Right Direction, uh, Helping Non-Biological Parents Find Their Place. So the purpose of the PDF is to assist individuals who are considering ending a blended family setting. All right. Because I don't know about you, but nobody really talked to me much about being in a blended family. OK, you know, I was told, hey, you know, don't get nobody pregnant. Uh, you know, hey, you know, I'm sure ladies you were told, don't let that dude get you pregnant, you know, because you're going to be raising that baby by yourself and blah, blah, blah. We've had those conversations, all right? Those are very common and regular com conversations that happen in households all across the country and all across the world, I'm sure. But not many people talk to you about being a non-biological parent or being a part of a blended family, you know? And that's pretty serious. You know, because a lot of times you look up, man, people get into these whirlwind relationships, you know, and they get a baby and then they realize after the baby is conceived that they don't really like each other. And now here they are, they're back out into the world and they got one kid, two kids, three kids, however many, and they have to get into the dating scene. And now the child or children are also a part of the dating scene. All right. And if you don't have any children, because this is kind of who this is for, if you don't have any children, you kind of got to know what you're getting into. And there are a lot of questions. I can't address every scenario, but I did come up with like 28 questions that I think if you ask yourself before you take that plunge, it can either make this experience wonderful or it can help you avoid a life from hell because if you get involved with somebody and they have children and you ain't never done this before you could be in for a whole lot of headaches all right so um before we get too deep in if you're new to the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button all right if you like the video um give it a thumbs up and leave some comments tell your friends and if you want to get more of this content because there will be comedy coming back. I'm not I'm not forsaking my comedy lifestyle because I'm a comedian by nature. Um, click the reminder bell and you can be kept on point with every single video that I upload. All right. So um, what I'm going to do, the way I'm going to do this is um, I'm going to do one question at a time. All right, there's 28 questions, so this will probably be maybe about a 28 video series. Maybe not. I might double up on some questions if there are some that kind of butt heads and run into each other. But I'm going to try to keep it um, one question at a time. And also in the description, because this is a PDF, it's totally free. It is a PDF. It will be in the description so that you can just go and you can um, you can find the link, you can click on it, you can download it, and then you can have it and you know do whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm going to do one question per video um, so that I don't make a three-hour video. I don't really want to do that. I want to kind of get in and get out, make it short and sweet, okay? Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started, all right? So the very first question that I ask in this in this PDF uh, steps in the right direction um, is do you like children okay 
Do you like children? I know that sounds like a goofy question because they're like, yeah, everybody like babies. No, they don't all like babies. And liking a baby on Instagram or liking your cousin's baby or liking your friend's baby is totally different from having to be in a situation where you got to take care of that baby, all right? So you got to first ask yourself, do I even like children? I know that because we are who we are, most people think that, oh, you know what, I can I can do this, man. It ain't no problem. You know, I can I can I can I can get in. Even if I don't like kids, maybe I can grow to like the baby. No, you can't be an effective non-biological parent if you don't like children. You can't. Imagine going to the gym, all right? How many people don't like going to the gym? Well, if you don't like going to the gym, you're going to be hard pressed to get up at 5 a.m. in the morning and go to the gym if you don't really like it. You're going to keep trying to talk yourself out of it. That's kind of like it is with when you have a, a child, especially if it's not your child. Because, see, if you don't like children, that means that you've never planned on what it takes to have a child. See, when you're dating and you meet somebody that have children or a child and you don't, they had nine months to plan for this baby. All right, they had nine months, okay? Nine months. You might only have nine days or weeks. Think about that because the baby's here. The child or children, they're already here. If you get involved with somebody, all right, and they already have children, you only have the length of time that you decided to date them to decide whether or not you really like children or not. And if you're wondering, if you're wondering why I feel like I should be talking on this subject, because I was 19 years old. Dumb as a box of rocks, and I got introduced to a girl who had a six-week-old baby, all right? I jumped in feet first because I didn't know any better. And so a lot of these questions are coming from my experiences as that, and I'm 53, and I'm still in a blended family setting, you know? And so I didn't know at 19, I didn't know if I liked kids or not because I didn't know nobody that had kids. You know, my sister was eight years younger than me, but she was my sister, okay? So I didn't know whether I liked kids or not. And so knowing that one question before you even go any further is of the utmost importance. You can't parent properly if you don't like kids. Hang on one second. Sorry, y'all. Trying to do this with my phone and my battery was dying. All right, so like I was saying, if you don't like kids, it's going to be hard for you to be involved with someone who has kids. And I just want to run something past you um, that most people truly don't think about when it comes time to dating someone with children. My children age uh, range falls between 19 and 30, okay? And I've always taught them, hey, if you don't have any children while you're young, and I mean between the ages of 19 and 30, do your best to not get involved with anyone who has children. And here, excuse me, here are a few reasons why. Number one, you will never ever be in that relationship alone. If they have multiple baby mamas and baby daddies, there will always be an ex in your relationship unless maybe they're deceased or in jail or just dead beats. But the likelihood of that always being the case is slim. So there will always be someone in your relationship. All right. Number two, there are no firsts. Okay. There are no firsts. Yeah, it might be a first for you all, but it's not a first for them. I mean, first for um, it may be a first for you all, but it's not a first for them. Yeah, I said that right. 
You know, if they already have a child or children, that means they've already felt the baby kick for the first time and heard the heartbeat, done the doctor visits. That's not going to be new to them. OK, they've already watched the baby be born and seen the baby roll over for the first time and hear the baby coo and smile. All of that stuff won't be new to them, which is why you all should do it together. It should be new to you all as a couple. All right. Shouldn't just be new to one and not the other. OK, um, number three. You literally haven't had time to mentally prepare yourself, emotionally prepare yourself, and financially prepare yourself if you do not plan on having children. It is a serious commitment on all of those fronts, all right? Because children are expensive, they are emotionally draining, and they are mentally draining, all right? So you have to be prepared for that. And if they've already done it and you just walking in, you're going to not be prepared. All right. Number four, holiday is going to be hell. Because if you and this person got a child together now and they got a kid and whatever, the kid ain't going to always be with y'all because it's Christmas or it's daddy's weekend or it's mama's weekend and you got to run the kid all across town and this, that and the other block. Holidays can be held. Trust me, I've been there and done that. There's been many Christmases because I was divorced or because I was this the child that we had to go to this side of town and that side of town. It ain't worth it. Number five, the potential for drama that has nothing to do with you is high. Because remember, that child has another parent and you don't really know why they broke up. You don't know if they broke up based upon what he said or what she said or whatever the case may be. Let me adjust my camera. I think I, oh Lord, y'all ought to knock y'all over. Hold on. The potential for drama is off the charts. I mean like straight up, you know, because you don't know if the person that is the, the, other, not, uh, the other biological parent is crazy or not, okay? Um, if number six, if you're in your 20s, it could very easily jeopardize your youth because if you have plans for your life and now you've gotten involved with somebody who has children, regardless of whether that child is yours or not, you now have to take on a lot of that responsibility. It's a package deal. It's a package deal. It always has been. You can't get involved with the parent and not have something to do with that child. So if you have plans for college and you're in your 20s or whatever, or you want to start a business or you want to do this, you want to do that, guess what? Now you're a parent. So now that money has to be allotted for some other stuff. All right. And uh, number seven, um, your wishes for that child's upbringing may not necessarily be a priority. You know, you might be vegan and the mom and, and, and the biological father might be like, oh, no, nah, my baby going to eat meat. Well, that could be a problem. You might be Buddhist and they might be Catholic. You know what I'm saying? So that's just a few reasons. Man, there are a laundry list of other reasons that you might really not want to date somebody with children if you don't have any. All right. So that's just keeping it real. But going back to the original question. Do you like children? And all of those things that I just listed are things you got to take into consideration because that's all a part of that child being in your life. Do you like children well enough to have to deal with somebody else's ex? Okay? So take that into consideration, all right, y'all? That's question number one of 28 questions in the Steps in the Right Direction PDF, okay? So I'm going to stop there because I don't want to get too deep into it. I don't want to go too long and make this video too long. But yes, that's question number one. There will be 27 more questions. And I hope that each and every one of these questions provokes thought in you. It's not to deter you. It's just to help you to know what you might be getting yourself into. If you and somebody get pregnant, okay, so be it. You know, y'all got nine months to figure it out, all right? But if you just walking into this situation and you ain't never done this before, you know, on the job training as a cashier is one thing. On the job training as a parent 
is something altogether different. All right. All right, y'all. This is Who's Derek Andre TV. I am Derek Andre. Um, I hope um, what I'm doing helps you. And I apologize for the cuts in it. I was having some technical difficulties. And if I if I rambled along, I do apologize. I'm going to do better presenting this type of content as time passes. The next video will be a whole lot smoother. All right. Remember, if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, subscribe. Um, uh, if you're new to the channel, if you like what you see, subscribe, um, tell a friend, leave comments, give it a thumbs up, and also click that reminder bell. All right? All right. Thank you so much. Uh, I will holler at you all on the next video. All right? All right. Peace.